What's up everyone? Welcome back to Sam and Max. So we're heading off to space to see if we can figure out we're who wants the deed to Earth. Um, to the moon, Alice. Thanks, by the way, for explaining that to the moon, Alice reference. Um, I appreciate it because uh, what's great about this game is there's like all these little tiny references to not necessarily only pop culture now, but pop culture throughout the decades, especially the 70s and 80s. So it's just pretty cool seeing like random things like that. So thanks for telling me, I appreciate it. Uh, let's see if anyone here is interested. You know, I really want to get this rocket engine. I think the rocket engine is going to be the key to opening this case. That has to be it, but the engine is off. Yeah, you see, he's putting it there, so that's got to be how to do it. But now we got to switch the engine on. Well, that's quite a rocket engine. Yeah, this is the tough bit. So how do we get the lunar lander to work? It's a lunar lander. And there's a door. Can you use the, the door? Locked inside. But look, the window's partly open. Okay. That's why we have a coat hanger. <laughs> We're really doing this okay. Wow. Freelance police. Got it. This is what we do. <laughs> Don't 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 look at us weirdly. We own this. This is this is our car. <laughs> we just parked on the moon by mistake. Oh, all right. See you, Sam. <laughs> Sam. I think the controls don't work how they're supposed to. <laughs> or maybe you're not an astronaut and you don't know how to use it. <laughs> That's hilarious, though. Uh, wow. I feel like if, if that happens, you'd be pretty dead. And wow, it is quiet on the moon. It's really quiet. <laughs> that is so weird. I don't think this game has been so quiet. Okay, let's get out spoon bend talisman. Oh boy. It looks like that rocket melted the virtually indestructible case right off the indestructible magic spoon bending talisman. Did the peanut butter on the spoon survive? Sorry, little pal. He wanted the peanut butter? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, we have the Lunar Lander key. That is amazing. Can we go places with this? Or is it just for fun now to watch Sam, like, fail at being an astronaut? I think it's just for the fun of watching it again and again. <laughs> Max is going to be like, I don't get bored of this. That never gets old. <laughs> yep, it never gets old. Uh, by the way, if you guys are curious, I'm sure many of you know this, but these thrusters, and I'm only doing this because I'm, I'm actually an astrophysicist, so I might as well geek out a little bit while I'm here. But these things here on the side are called RCS thrusters. They've got a little thrusters pointing in essentially every direction and what they do is once you're in space if you uh for instance if you thrust this one over here and this one over here and probably that one there and what's on the back it'll push the entire rocket in that direction so it's like a little bit of a nudge that doesn't require the rocket engine like the big engine uh and it doesn't require you turning around so for example you could uh use the one on the top for all of them and that would then push the rocket down or the ones on the front uh, and it would push it away from us and so on and so forth but you can also rotate it for example if you uh hit the one on the top there and the one on the bottom there and that'll rotate the whole thing around this way so it's basically used to align it in space so unlike in star wars and virtually every fantasy genre in space uh even this game here <laughs> where rockets and space spacecraft somehow just magically point in the right direction that doesn't happen in real life you have to use these things on the side in order to actually get that done so cool little bit of space knowledge for you but let's get back to the game let's see the spoon bend talisman bend spoons can we bend people i'm curious this may not go well i don't think it works on people except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. okay <laughs> so we've got to find the Spoony guy from, um, from, <laughs> uh, what's it from Toy Story 4? I don't think it works on people, 
Except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. I was hoping we could get in trouble for for stealing it, it's but I guess not. It's pretty stinky. I think I'll just leave it alone forever. I was really hoping we could steal his suit, but I guess not. I'm kind of freaking out about the silence on the moon. It's really unsettling. Thank goodness there is some background music. I was like not... I don't think I could handle having um, Max's uh, footsteps being the only sound effect for so long. Uh, all right, now we got the giant spork. Let's try the spoon bend talisman on that. Now I don't know what that's gonna do. I think that's the biggest, meanest looking spork I ever saw outside of Chicago. But doing this has got to be fun. And perhaps we can also use it on um, the bent parking meter. Can unbend it and then Jimmy Two Teeth won't want it. Could also try it on the bowling ball holder thing <laughs> that's behind the lid door, perhaps. But in any case, let's go in the roller coaster car. See what we do now <laughs> with the bent spoon. Perhaps because our hands are up, something will happen. Bent spork, I guess. No? Well, then I have no clue what that was for. Absolutely no clue. Uh... Cha. Literally no clue, but let's head on upstairs. See if we can use it on the bowling ball Okay, so we got to use our lead vision talisman to see every single time Neat. And now let's try this on the sconce Oh, it cool. opened the door. I hope it didn't hurt the bowling ball. Why are, you, why are you worried about the bowling ball of all things? There he is! The jig's up, you blitz. It's him! It's We've him! We've come a long way for this, my friend, so buckle up, because the freelance police are taking you downtown. <laughs> I love he's Hi, putting on an accent. you bliss. He is. You're just in time for the show. Please, no flash photography. <laughs> People of Earth. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. And now, so are you. Whoa! The power of prismatology. It's real. <laughs> He's literally vomiting rainbows. <laughs> what He's you brilliant. Done? Oh, just enlisted a few billion followers. Touch me and you'll have quite a happy angry mob on your hands. Not if we... Reverse the effects of the hypno beam? I don't think so. For in all the universe, there's only one force chaotic and destructive enough to stop me now. But you wouldn't do that, would you, Max? Max? Who, oh, me? Oh. Well, I'm, I'm flattered, but no, you wouldn't. Because I'm I love that to. they we have the same Drum thought. Roll, please. Separate your bliss. Really? What does that even mean? I, I like it my bliss in one piece. Thank you. Part of you I don't like. It's like circumcision, but <laughs> double the laughs. Whoa! Hey! Wait, what? Here Whoa! We go. I Goodbye, don't want that. Goodbye, murderous hand. <gasps> what? Goodbye, gluttonous stomach. Yo, Goodbye, he's taking Max apart. No. Tail. <gasps> no. Ow. And with those naughty body parts, your vices are purged from your soul. Bye bye. But I like Max with his vices. That's what makes That's him cool. Man, jerk bag. I'm gonna use it to shoot you. No! <laughs> oh boy, a stomach. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. Now come here and let me eat you. <laughs> wow, these are all like Max's Great, dark sides. Hmm. I just want to lie in front of a TV till I die in a pool of my own slobber. Congratulations, Max. I just beat the living vice out of you. <laughs> I'm pure bliss. Oh my gosh. You've ruined go Max. Go away, rotten Maxes. I don't like you. Shoo, 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 go away. Now nothing can stop me. I win. Whoa, okay, not bye. okay. Oh, 
Yes, my children. Let me soak in your happiness. Oh, yes. Mmm, more. Oh, yes. So good. Oh, oh my. He's so, literally stealing people's Master, happiness. Okay? That's creepy. Help me grab that ponytail freak show and reverse the effects of the beam. I don't. I, I think he's see, hubless now. I love that ponytail yeah. freak show. I want to have his love child. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Max, oh I swear gosh. to you, I'll get your vices back or kill us both trying. <laughs> yes. I love you too. Oh, Max, no, guys. He's ruined Max. Why? My my favorite character. Hubless. You know what? I was talking a few episodes ago about how like I didn't totally understand what was so bad about him, but after what he just did to Max, no. That was evil. That was evil. And and Max was really, really evil, but no. <laughs> not my Max. Not my Max. Goodness. Okay. We have to figure out how to take him down. Uh Let's chat to him real quick, see if he's got anything to it's say. It's too high to reach. Max, I need your help. Let's go read to the blind, Sam. Can we? What has he done to you? Why are you so kind? What? This is not like you. At all. <laughs> the rainbow that hypnotized a world. Well, is there a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? Because perhaps we could buy the earthquake maker with it. <laughs> We got a bunch of statues here. Someone around this here is has creepy. got an incurable case of narcissism. Right? What? Nothing. Unfortunately, they appear to be quite indestructible. Bliss is just like blissfully ignorant. <laughs> There's no other way to put it. Um. Uh, let's just check that Max is definitely not going to die right now. This prismatology nonsense really gets my blood boiling. That's from the heat generated by the limitless energy of your imagination. My limitless imagination is going to cause an aneurysm if you don't stop talking like that, Max. I'd like I'm to give so that upset. Bliss a piece of my mind. And he would welcome it gladly, except for the hypothalamus. Yeah, he'll literally take it. He's already got plenty of those. What? Why specifically the hypothalamus? Why has he got so many of those? You're, what? The hypothalamus doesn't even... It doesn't even do much. I mean, it regulates. Yeah, like it regulates your body, but that's not where you are. Why would you have so many of those? Or does that mean Hubless doesn't really have much of the rest of his brain? <laughs> what? If we don't stop Hubless, the whole world will be filled with peace and love and excessive hugging. There's no such thing as excessive hugging, Sam. Obviously, you've never been to a comic book convention. <laughs> also, you've obviously not been to the future when there's COVID. <laughs> What do you feel like doing once we wrap up this case? I'm curious what to say now. We could plant a tree, or teach a child to read, or we could teach a tree to read. Yay! You know, if you could do that, that'd actually be pretty cool. Is there a way when we somehow save Max to keep the side of him and like put them all together? Because then, then you've got good and evil in one human being, or one, <laughs> one rabbit being, and. Um, then, you know, Max is unstoppable. Never mind. Because, I mean, to be fair, like, he's really not himself right now, but the things he's saying, I don't want Max to lose that insight entirely. <laughs> um, okay, let's have a look here what's going on with the machines. I can see the retreat from here. Apparently, Mr. Mind Reader has That's to what keep it's tabs called. on his followers the old-fashioned way. What? Nothing. <sighs> yeah, you fraud. I can see the retreat from here. <laughs> if you can't even hear what we're saying, come These on, you fraud. These must operate something important. No, I just think they look pretty. A bit cliche, if you ask me. Wow. What? Nothing. Literally just there for display. Don't worry, people of Earth. I'm working as hard as I can to break the spell and make you all miserable again. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, good on you. Good on you, Sam. is not the answer. Unless, I suppose, the question is, what's a really bad <laughs> thing to believe in? <laughs> Brilliant. This, and this music is also like really adding to the tension. It's so sinister. This is Betty Parkinson of 328 Cherry Lane, Hackensack, New Jersey, USA. You're our next contestant. <laughs> Come on up to the moon. Wow. Does everyone have a flying car? Attention. The owner of a celestial class star cruiser license USS 1701C. Please report to the front desk. Your warp nacelles are on. <laughs> Is this a, is this actually like a a, a spacecraft in a, a 
Star Trek or something. I don't recognize it from Star Wars. And now, a medley of your lunar favorites. Craters on my heart since you left me. <gasps> no, really? This has come all the way around? Of course, because we sang about the moon, I remember, in the second episode. Wow! Sam, this is your chance for, for literally international stardom. Moscow, we're oh. watching. He's not gonna like that. Don't worry, people of Earth. <laughs> I'm working as hard as I can to break the. <laughs> we're literally. Well, we're not actually watching you, but we are pretending we are. So we gotta find the pieces of Max, I guess, so that he can help us get up to Hubless. But how we do that? Can we just step off into the rainbow? No. I guess not. Now, Last where. Resting place of Lou the bowling ball. Where is Lou? I want Lou. And wasn't Lou in the office somewhere and now we've, like, I don't know how he got here. <laughs> Max is just blissfully following us. He's so chilled. All right, let's see where the parts of him are. Whee! Take that nitrogen oxygen atmosphere! I think we found one of your doppelgangers, little pal. We're all doppelgangers under the skin, Sam. <laughs> what? Okay, so he's on the ride. Which must mean this is what the fork, spork thing is for? Can, should we bend that perhaps? N now, I don't know why it's unbent. But let's bend it again. <laughs> I have a feeling when it goes around, it's gonna take his arm off. Which is actually something I want now for the first time ever. Moving target. Woo! How do I press the button then? Goody, moving target. Ooh. Okay. So I need. I need another way to do this. Uh, let's see what'll happen I'm if we do this. I'm particularly interested in seeing the contents of his stomach. Max, can you do it? Cause you can walk all the way up there without a problem. Huh, okay. And have we shoot at him? Dang. Darn. <laughs> You're just gonna say a bunch of swear words now? He's bulletproof. Dang. I think so too at this point. Darn. I think he's bulletproof. Yeah. Okay, so then it's not actually obvious. Um we get this thing to move. We must need the magician's hat. Let's see if I've got anything there to say about what's going concentration on. Again. Not the gunfire in the background? Really? Would you teach me how to pull a rat out of a hat? Not until I've managed to do it myself. Be okay. Catch you later, Featherly. Pennyworth! My name is Pennyworth! Yes, yes, okay, okay. This must go all the way down to the center of the moon. Okay, so we need to figure out. Ah. That English. We need to somehow figure out how to switch on the roller coaster when he is standing on it, given that we can't actually get up to the button. So, hmm. Have you guys got anything oh, useful for us? Oh, me. Hey, cops. <laughs> what are you guys going to do once you're done with prismatology? Yeah, because you've already invented your AI, easy. right? It's going to be huge. We'd like to try out that video game of yours again. This time you will be annihilated! Do you have I actually didn't think we would mind. actually get the option to play again, but... Okay, you know what? Seeing as... <laughs> I don't know how to beat this violent Max, let's... <laughs> let's, let's beat him and just feel good about ourselves. try again later. I can't believe that Hubliss is being so mean by taking over Earth like this. Uh, any help, Mr. Spatula? It, he does look more enlightened. None. Okay, I guess Lincoln must be off on his date with Sybil now? Look Which raises all another, kinds of questions. He made it 20 feet from the box before collapsing under the weight of his own laziness. Whoa. Ennui is one of the five fundamental forces. <laughs> <sighs> No TV? <laughs> Why even go on? You should all just lie on your faces and wait for death. 
It's true. I got nothing. Oh, I'm no. a failure. Don't upset him. No. <laughs> I'm on the verge of tears. This guy's the death of the party. He's literally making everybody so sad. No, look at Harry Moleman. Oh, he's heartbroken. Oh, guys, I didn't think I'd feel so bad for him, but look, oh, that face. Oh, no, we got to cheer him up. Come on, Harry. Okay, let's, let's pep right, talk him. The blue rabbit's right. Oh, I come on. I can't keep a job. My feet stink. Why do I even go on? Oh. <laughs> Come I don't know why I feel so bad. Give but... us a little smile. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> this is sad, man. Like, he didn't deserve this. He's already out working on the moon. Uh, can we make him smile somehow? <laughs> I'm not particularly interested in... Uh, I probably actually sewing up would not make him smile, hmm. to be honest. I've just realized, can we see inside the lunar lander? Hmm. Nothing no. happened. Okay, um, let's see. Can we give him a deed to the United States? Will he feel better? What happened? Lunar lander key? I'm pretty sure the key only works on the lunar lander. <laughs> yes, but you'd give it to someone to use it in the lunar lander, Sam. <laughs> uh, maybe wrap hey, a unicorn will wanna cheer him up. Unicorn? No, I'm not that desperate. I yet. thought you were so sad that, like, you would. Come on. <laughs> Uh, okay, Super Bowl, how are you Super feeling? Ball? I can't talk now, sir. The blue guy is really getting me down. His supernatural lethargy is crushing my normally unbridled enthusiasm. He's, he's made it impossible Super to Ball, chat to anyone. You seem as chipper as ever. Thank you, sir. I work hard to put on a happy face, but I'm crying on the inside. <laughs> he is like ultimate poker face. Don't play poker against this guy. He's He would hide virtually anything he's feeding. Um, how can we make him feel happier? I don't think it works on people, except maybe if they're shaped like spoons. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try everything because I'm sure I don't have ideas right now. On the lunar lander. At least for, at, like, what do they call him, Angry Max? At least I had an idea. <coughs> yeah, I'm a bit nope. unsure. Not even the D to the United States is getting this guy moving. That he's really, really not in a good place. Hmm. Nothing happened. He doesn't have a I'm stomach too. I'm particularly to... interested in seeing the yeah, contents of his stomach. Yeah, it's not even here. Come on, unicorns? Uh -huh. Guns? Come on, guns? You love guns. Better not. <laughs> Put him out of his misery? <laughs> That's just mean. Okay. Uh, let's very quickly pop down to the surface of the Earth. Just see what's going on there. Where are we headed now, Sam? Uh, to the Earth, obviously. Why Earth. do you always ask? <laughs> And why don't you sound like like you're hypnotized? Did 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 you just forget? <laughs> I don't know why I've never paid attention to them flying around the, the earth like that. It's pretty cool. Oh, okay. Uh, there is no sign of Max anywhere. But I want to check for Lincoln. Whee! Maybe Lincoln and Sybil are through here. No, just Sybil. Okay, Link. Oh, whoa, he is here. Sybil, okay, are you okay? I got a chat to him. shot some kind of weird energy beam all over the planet. Hi, I'm Hugh. Oh, no. oh no, not her as and well. I'm perfectly happy, Sam. Oh, and I hello, it. brother Max. Tangerine dreams and Aqua wishes to you this day. Why, thank you, Sybil. You're looking especially lovely today. Wow, this is horrific. This is weird. So weird. You've got to snap out of it. Snap out of what, friend Sam? For the first time in my life, I've got a perfect job, a rock-solid relationship, and an incomparable feeling of peace. The high doesn't I've last, honey. I've never Teddy. been so content in all my life. <laughs> Whatever Don't you've worry, taken, we'll it doesn't that. last. This prismatology business is all a lie. Is pure happiness a lie? Is peace on Earth a hopeless dream? Are unicorns imaginary? Mostly, probably, and it depends on how far you live from a facility that processes nuclear waste. <laughs> we could give you a unicorn. Um, <laughs> but that would probably not help. That would just convince you they're real. This Seriously, like, is pure happy. Mostly. Okay. Um, 
What do you think's in Canada now? For improving Canada? With this new feeling of peace and I had a feeling that's how she'd be. I feel like my mind is alive with possibilities. Whoa! Even acting like you bliss. There's some way to extend this feeling of goodwill and generosity to all countries of the world. I always suspected that when the world turned nice and pleasant, Canada would be the first to fall. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like it. You got they got the queen pretty quickly. Well, they actually got the whole earth, so Tell me how, how the date is going. going. Mr. Lincoln. Simply wonderful. Isn't that right, Abraham? P pretty oh, goodness, lady. really? <laughs> he has such a way with words. Quite the smooth talker. I I think Hubliss might have saved their date. Because <laughs> if that's how he's talking, only Hubliss could make her enjoy this date. <laughs> it sounds like Mr. Look at me, I wrote the Gettysburg Address isn't as good with words as he led us to believe. Oh, careful what you oh, say. That's controversial. Once he's managed to stop hyperventilating. Meh. Meh. Mama. Oh. She's not your mama. <laughs> Are you two planning on having kids someday? Wow. He really doesn't want kids. Okay. So long, Sybil. So long. And uh, <laughs> thanks for all the fish. <laughs> um, we'll leave it there. When you come back, we'll chat to Abraham Lincoln and we'll head over to the rest of town, see what's going on with everyone else, I try and find um, Max's stomach and uh, see if we can figure out how to get the magician's hat. Maybe we bend the meter and we unbend it. Lots of questions, but so much fun, guys. So much stuff is happening. Hubless is evil. He's just straight up evil. I don't know what his big agenda is, aside from feeding off everyone's bliss, but I just don't understand it. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We will get onto I'm sure. I'll see you guys next time on Salmon Max Save the World. Until then, stay safe and bye for now.